learn about the melting point and boiling point of a substance. Take 100 to 200 grams of crushed ice in a beaker. Stand a thermometer in the ice and hold it upright in the clamp of a stand. Place the beaker on a wire gauze on a stand and heat it. Make a note of the level of the mercury in the thermometer in minute intervals. Continue to heat the water even after the ice has all turned into water. Do not forget to record your observations. What did you observe? Even though heat was being supplied to the beaker, there was no change in the temperature shown by the thermometer until all the ice had melted. It remains at zero degrees Celsius. Where does the heat supplied go? The heat supplied while the ice is changing into water is used up for changing the state. The temperature at which a solid substance changes into a liquid is called the melting point of the substance. Similarly, the temperature at which a liquid substance starts to boil is called the boiling point of the substance. For any substance, the melting point and freezing point are the same. Freezing point is the temperature at which a liquid substance changes into a solid when heat is taken away from it. The melting point and boiling point of some substances are given here. Many a times, you must have seen your mother putting the bottle in warm water if the lid is stuck tightly. Doing this helps open the bottle. This is due to expansion and contraction of a substance. Similarly, if two metal bowls have got stuck one inside the other, we place them in hot water. This helps to separate the two bowls easily. Like tin and steel, most substances expand on heating. That is, their length or volume increases. That is why, in the situation described above, the lid of the bottle comes loose and two bowls can be separated easily. Let us see an experiment that shows the property of expansion and contraction. As shown in the figure, fix the end A of a metal rod AB firmly on a stand. Keep the other end B of the rod free and touching the end C of a lever CD. The lever CD is a pointer which turns on a circular scale PQ. Heat the rod. The pointer moves on the scale from Q towards P. Why does this happen? When the metal rod AB is heated, it expands. That is, its length increases. As a result, it pushes the lever at end C and the pointer turns towards P. If we stop heating the rod, it cools slowly and contracts and the pointer goes back to its original position. Thus, we see that solids expand when heated and contract when cooled. Let us perform another experiment based on the property of expansion and contraction of solids. Place a metal disc of the size of a one rupee coin on a wooden board. Now, hammer two nails on the board in such a way that the disc will just brush lightly against the two nails as it is slid between them. Now, holding the disc with tongs, heat it and try to pass it between the two nails. It gets stuck. The disc expands on heating. As a result, the disc which could just pass between the two nails now gets stuck. Let us gain information on the bimetallic strip and where it is used. 
Take an iron and a copper strip of the same size. Rivet them firmly together. Now heat the strip. The strip bends with the iron strip on the inside. This is because copper expands more than iron. In the bimetallic strip, we make use of the unequal expansion.